What is happening people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is an analysis, a sort of deep dive into Frank Lampard's favourite Chelsea player, Mason Mount. But before we get into today's video guys, I want to let you know that I upload content every single day so be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the content. Right, who is Mason Mount? Mason Mount is a 20 year old English midfielder who plays for Chelsea and has been with the academy since he was like six or eight or something. Anyway, recently he enjoyed two successful loan spells, one at Vitesse and one at Derby, who was coached by Frank Lampard at the time. Throughout the last few years, Mason has widely been recognized as a very special talent and recently got his England senior call up by Gareth Southgate. At just the age of 19 too, now Frank Lampard is Chelsea manager, it's no surprise that Mason Mount has been called back to the club to become a permanent fixture within this squad. And also it's no surprise that he's penned a new contract, committing his long term future to Chelsea Football Club. Mount is a sort of number 8 slash number 10, but with Chelsea having players like Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Barkley who's been in scintillating form this pre-season, it looks like Mason Mount is going to have some stiff competition in those similar areas of the pitch. But in today's video I'm going to talk about Mason Mount's tactical versatility as well as his ability. He's already played in a few different positions under Frank Lampard, not just this preseason but last season at Derby as well. So maybe he'll have the edge on people like Barkley or Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek was excellent last season for Chelsea, potentially my favourite Chelsea player. But Ruben probably does his best work in the left centre mid spot where Mason can move around a lot. And you could sort of say the same for Barkley, maybe doing his best work in the tip of a diamond. Like I said, Mount has already played under Frank Lampard, so he soaked up a lot of that tactical instruction already, which might give him a little bit of an edge. But let's talk about his positional versatility and look at some formations. Starting with the 4 2 3 1 formation off the bat, the best position for Mason Mount in this formation is of course the number 10. This is where he can do his best work, a lot of combination will play in the final third and linking up with the forwards and strikers. He is a goal threat himself so it's good that he's closer to goal. But Mason doesn't necessarily have to be bound to just this position in this formation. He probably doesn't have the defensive attributes to play in the deeper midfield too, but Frank Lampard has actually pushed him over to the left wing this preseason to accommodate another number 10 coming on. Frank Lampard does rotate his midfielders, we'll probably highlight that a bit more in a bit, but it shows that Mason can play on the left wing, even if it doesn't give him the best opportunity to display his talents I guess. He can do a job on the left wing essentially. Right, next formation is the 4-3-3. Now Mason can play on either of the flanked midfield positions. He probably can't play in that defensive six deep role that screens the back four, but he certainly can play on the midfield positions either side and rotate round, I guess, like I said, Frank's midfield often does. Um, probably not necessarily his best position. It depends on what tactical instruction he's got if he's got license to move forward but if he's playing like a conventional eight um, then that suits him well and he can do a lot of good work there like linking up with the wide forwards and his fellow forward midfielder. Okay so the final formation I want to talk about is Frank Lampard's 4-4-2 diamond. This suits Mason Mount really well as well. Obviously he can play in the tip of a diamond like essentially the number 10 role like in a 4-2-3-1 but he can also play on either side of the midfield diamond. And so with four midfielders, he can play on three of those positions. The diamond suits him particularly well because this is the ultimate formation that demonstrates Frank Lampard's midfield rotation. Maybe the player at the base of the diamond, whether it be Kante or Jorginho, they probably won't rotate as much, but certainly the front three players in the diamond move around a lot. That suits Mason Mount down to a T. He gets to combine and has freedom and can do some attacking offensive passages of play. So it sounds very good from the young English midfielder. Anyway, that's enough of the formation shape for a moment. So very versatile from young Mason Mount, the kind of versatility and type of player you would want in your squad. So out of Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Ross Barkley, 
exactly in Mason Mount. Mason Mount looks the best at sort of being a utility player. Now, when people say utility player, that usually sounds like a, a negative thing, but because he's got so much quality, it's actually a positive thing and maybe gives him a bit of an edge over uh, Barkley and Loftus-Cheek. But what was his league performances like last year? I want to take a look at how he performed for Derby last season. So on that, let's take a look at the numbers. Right then, for Frank Lampard's Derby County last season, Mason Mount scored nine goals and registered four assists from the midfield. He was also popping off 2.5 shots per game, so he was basically given license by Frank Lampard to try and do the damage. A very offensive attacking midfielder, and you'd imagine now he's a little bit older and he's surrounded by better quality in this Chelsea squad, those numbers will only rise. Defensively, he's a very serviceable player as well. He makes two tackles and interceptions per game, which is decent enough, especially from an attacking mid. It shows he's not all pointy end when it comes to uh, sitting in the team. He'll actually go back and do a bit of graft and help the team out defensively. When it comes to passing, he's a very creative player too. He makes two key passes per game, or certainly did last season for Derby. That's excellent. So he's very good at combining and he's very good at assisting, um, occupying the right space and scoring goals, but it shows that he's got the quick thinking and vision to execute key passes. Two per game is a very, very good statistic. Mount also succeeded in making 1.6 long balls per game last season, which is also really good because it shows he's not just about short combinational play or looking for goal. If the passages of play aren't there, if the passing lanes aren't available, he has no problem switching play and doing long diagonal balls or crosses, which is a very positive thing. Right, there's enough of the statistics for the moment. So, Mason Mount is an incredibly talented young midfielder. He modelled his game on Frank Lampard when he was growing up at the Chelsea Academy, and now he's playing under the man himself. He must be buzzing. At just the age of 20, he has a lot of experience already. Obviously loads of success through the academy and with the Chelsea youth teams. He went abroad and had a really successful loan spell in Holland, which is incredibly important for a player developing themselves as a footballer and a person. And of course, he tasted a good dose of English physical football last season down in the championship where he played very well. It does seem like the perfect time for him to be joining up with a Chelsea first team and becoming a first team player because he's got enough experience, he's been abroad, he's endured the physicality of the game, he's learned a lot throughout the years and he's like a really good young age, 20 years old, is ripe like Christian Pulisic to develop with the Frank Lampard and with this Chelsea squad to essentially make a new golden generation. The fact's how Ruben Loftus-Cheek is such a quality, talented player and Barkley has found some excellent form of late can only be a good thing. When there's good players around you, they'll push you to become even better. Players that don't have competition for their slots in the team can often become complacent and therefore their form or drive may drop off. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get in the comments down below, let me know. What, what do you think about Mason Mount? Do you think he's ready? Do you think he should be starting? Do you think maybe that Ross Barkley's good form, age and experience will pull rank earlier in the season and he'll start? Do you think Frank should play both of them in the diamond. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of my channel? Are you enjoying it? Obviously, like usual, if you have enjoyed this analysis video, please do like the video as well. And a quick plug for my Patreon page. You can pay $1 a month. Yes, that's right, only $1 a month to become a patron to my Patreon and get involved with my Q&As where you ask me questions and I answer them directly in videos that is exclusively available for my patrons. The link is down in the description and you can also follow me on social media as in Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. I'll link that in the description as well. All right, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Enjoy any football that you're able to watch and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back